Hello my friends, and welcome back to our continued by Let's Play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice, the remaster for the PS5. My name is Flatless Bird, this is your Sorbius Gaming Channel, and today, today we're continuing on with the Mason system, and I'm going to go ahead and present all this evidence to Misham in between now and the intro, so that way, uh, if there's nothing here, we can just go on with the dialogue and pass on with the game, shall we? all having a wonderful fantastic day today as there is some evidence that triggers a response your work don't try to pretend you've forgotten huh? sure all you did was make a copy but that copy might have destroyed the life of an innocent man <sighs> i'm responsible too which is why i have to know and you had to tell me I uh, know it would be difficult to escape this. Then let's talk. I'll just talk. Alright, yeah, that's... Uh, if you're not, it just says, I've been out of touch with the world for some time now. Um, but yeah, uh, how are you all doing today? I hope you all, like I said, are just absolutely fantastic. As uh, a bunch of people have commented and let me know a little bit more about the, uh, the Mesa system. Uh, basically, uh, Phoenix was not breaking the fourth wall. Uh, earlier, he was just talking basically to the jury. And it's... A, a lot of this was kind of put together by Phoenix. So... It makes a little more sense now. I thought it was literally just breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. It, it's just something I thought. I was like, wow, Phoenix is going crazy here. Uh, strangely enough, I don't think anyone commented on my remarks about Tracy's locket and I think that's very intriguing so yeah I, I, I just feel more and more I may have hit this on the head it would make sense I mean it ties everything together if you think about it especially when you have when you have the idea of her mom's been missing you have Lamor in a previous case that she has amnesia I mean, there's just so much there that makes a lot of sense. And if so, it's really good storytelling. Mr. Misham. I just realized his name means my sham. <laughs> I'm a little slow on these sometimes. Judging from this place, you're a painter? Not so very a profitable one. I've never sold a painting. It's a source of considerable embarrassment. I would be able to get by if it only me. Your daughter. Oh, look at the cute little, um... The drawing pad. It's almost like Mickey Mouse. Her mother could murder me and left. I don't want her to go up near Mr. White. That is why I've begun my other occupation. Forgeries. The forgeries. Don't look at me with those eyes. I know what it is, what I do. More than half of the paintings they bring me are stolen. And who knows what my copies are used for. But some of your works are paintings, correct? You might not believe me when I tell you this. But that was my first work outside of a painting. What? To think it would be used as evidence in a murder trial. I never even imagined the possibility. Then why did you take the job? I was well paid, very well paid, yes, yes. I think it feels worse about it than I do. The past is hard to escape. Honestly, the sooner I can put this behind me, the better. With apologies to you, of course. Sorry, but it's not going to be quite so easy. He's trying to forget what he made. Looks like I'll have to remind him. Oh, that that's a clue to show him the evidence, okay. Magnify's diary. Well then, ready to tell me about this work you did? It was unlike anything I had attempted before. I guess it would be a little different from paintings. That is not what I mean. In all my previous work, it sufficed to create a copy. This wasn't a copy? Oh, uh, the card gave me two things that day. The first was a simple page as a reference. The second, a printed document I only surmised was written by my client. 
So you use the real writing as a reference to reproduce what the client wrote? Yes, as I said, it was my first job of that nature. So, who was your client? Uh, as I said in court, I do not know. Really? Even for such a suspicious request? If it was me, I'd want to know as much as I could about the requester. I, I never met them, not that personally, are you? Hello, Mr. Locke. Ah, uh, a psych lock, of course. Seems like you're still hiding something. Something about this work. Ark! Ark! Let's see what we can find out, shall we? You're hiding something. Let's hear it then. I really like the psych locks because they're like... They're like a, um... What's the best way to say this? They're, they're sort of like an investigation or a testimony outside of the trial. And they really add a lot, I think, to the exploration process. So I, I, I really do enjoy these, uh, uh, these Cyclops. I, I think they're, they're always a welcome experience for me. Uh, let's hear it then. What are you hiding from me, Mr. Misham? I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I never met the client. Huh. True, when I asked the client's name, there were no Cyclops in sight. Regardless, you're hiding something. You have to be, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Um, why are you doing this to me? Well, I made my stand, no backing down now. So what's Misham hiding? Uh, he's hiding... Well, we know it's a forger. Can I save here? No, I can't. I can pretty much piece together what it is from what you said. Well, what is it then? You told me what you knew about the client. And I couldn't see any Cyclops. Cyclox? Is that some kind of set of security or new hairstyle possible? <laughs> A new hairstyle. But then you did show up, did they? Didn't they? Who was your client? Uh, as I said in court, I do not know. Really? Even for such a suspicious request? It was me. I want to know as much as I could about the requester. I, I never met them. Not that personally. I... Not personally. Those words trigger the psych lock. Again, with the psych locks. Now I really must know what they are. So you didn't meet with the client. But someone else did. Maybe the real forger behind this evidence. Um, perhaps I hung up on this lock business. But I'm afraid you've lost me. Yeah, well, I didn't come here to talk about psych locks. As long as I came to the right conclusion. Doesn't matter how I got there. And your conclusion is... The real forger behind this. Was it you, Mr. Misham? b b b b <laughs> That's just so random. I, I don't know what you're talking about. That's my work, I tell you. Right here in my studio. Who else could have a burn but me? That's the real question, isn't it? If the forger wasn't you then I don't have many other people to choose from. The real Forger at your studio is Apollo Justice! No. Vera Misham. The real Forger is your daughter, Vera Misham, isn't it? Oh, ridiculous! My daughter's only 12 years old, Mr. Wright! I've always been more on one for large games, that's her realism. Nice comeback, but you're shaking in your boots. I've got you now. The only two people with access to the studio are you and your daughter. The Cyclox tell me you're not the Forger. Which makes your daughter the only possibility. Ahem. I feel very much on the verge of going to shake lock myself. <laughs> Ah. 
Hey, we're back to full health. How about that? I don't know how you know, but you're right. The one on my desk page was my daughter, Vera. Not I. She's only 12. A genius, you might call her. A precocious little girl outshining her father. There's been a lot to that going around recently. I'll let her play the studio when she wants me. She taught herself in that way. The doctor told her I don't look evidence if I sit up about what I become yesterday. There are my little girl's playthings now. Ah, uh, do I detect a bit of fatherly pride? So, Vera was the one who made this page. But she know who the client was then. Oh, actually, the client came out. Here to the studio. What? Why did you say so sooner? But the face was covered and they did not want to talk to me. So, they talked to your daughter? I will only speak what the author, Shakai, told me. Then that little girl is the key to our mystery client's true identity. Your daughter. Okay, what do I do now? Maybe I should talk to her father a bit more. Or is it time to turn my attention to Vera? Yeah. Mr. Misham, I have a request. Let me guess, you'd like to speak with my daughter. Can I? My daughter has never been one to talk to strangers. She's quite shy, extremely shy, actually. With only one exception. Which was, let me guess, magicians? Oddly enough, it was a client. Okay, maybe not. Huh? I left the studio while they talked. I returned when they had finished and she was laughing. It was the first time I'd seen anything of the sort. Please, let me speak with her. All right. Hello, Miss Vera. So the question is, can we get her to talk? Because here's the thing, I have a very, I have a, um, I, I have a suspicion that there's gonna be something in the past that we can't solve without going to the future first. So is it gonna be Vera or is it going to be uh, Valent? I and mean, Valent did have four locks, but who knows, she may have 16. <laughs> uh oh, this could be tough. Us. Um, what do you think about this? Huh? I think I just made her nervous. I need something to grab her attention, but what? Well, I think I know what we need. We need probably the, uh, the forgery of this. Okay, maybe not. I was thinking it would be the forgery, but it's not. So, what will grab her attention? Is it the magicians? The stamp? All the way to the right? I, I like to go through everything. You know me. There we go. I was right. And then there's this. Huh? My stamp? Hey, she spoke. She can talk! Yeah, so this stamp. How can I keep her talking? The great magicians, aren't they? Is it troop grammar amazing? Uh. Hmm, yes? Oh. I especially like those two, Zack and Valent. I mean, they're, uh, just so magical. Aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah, whenever I go to one of the shows, I'm like, Whoa! Magic! You know? Me too, me too, I love them, they're so cool! Oh, look at that smile! Aww. I, I, I want her to always smile like this. Just be happy. It's like, like magic, yeah! Alright, she's talking. Not say much, but it's a start. I went and saw them with Father the other day. The opening ceremony at the Grammary Museum of Magic. The Grammary Museum? They have one of those? I guess it makes sense now that they have their own commemorative stamp. So, have you been to one of their shows? Just once, when I was little, with Father. 
The Grimleys on stage. It was like a dream. Disappearing, reappearing, cutting apart, putting back together. They do it all. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can't keep telling me stuff like this. You know, about Zack and Valent, maybe? Oh, oh, sure. All right, better get asking before she changes her mind. Vera. I... I don't go outside much. I like to paint in here. Why don't you like the outside? There's bad people out there. Well, true. But there are lots of good people, too. Actually, I should tell you. She was almost kidnapped once. Wait, what? Get kidnapped? She said she's been... Well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. I see. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. She said she went to the Grammary Museum. With you, in fact. Oh, yes, actually, she was quite insistent on it, much to my surprise. That was the first and last time she expressed such a desire to me. That person gave me a good luck charm. A good luck charm. For when I absolutely had to go outside. Yes, apparently she received something. A gift. From the cart, actually. She won't tell me what it was. Huh? Father, I told you to keep that a secret. From that client, huh? This I had to hear about. The forgeries. So, your father tells me you're good at painting all sorts of things. I really like painting a lot. Father is always very happy when I paint them exactly the same. So, you did this too? Oh, yes. That was my first job. Your first? All I used to do was paint the same thing I saw. But this was totally different. The pen slips and the way the writer held the pen and the pressure on the nib. I had to use a microscope and analyze it on the computer. She seems happy. Odd. Her work was the last nail in the grammary coffin. I guess no one told her. Yeah, no one should tell her either. Two grammary stamp. They're the best in the world. Huh? Oh, you mean Troop Grammary? Of course. Father gave it to me. Your father? But I asked him about it. He didn't know how you got it. Oh, oh, um, I guess I just took it, yeah. Took it. Father got a letter from that person. That person? You mean the letter was from the client? Oh, we talked about the Grammaries forever that day. I'm sure that's why I was sent that stamp. I didn't want to, to send it back, so I took it. They're a sticky one, Mr. Grinch. I mean, this client. So they were trying to get on a good side. Commemorative stamp update in the court writer. Sent from the real client. The client. So, you met the person that asked you to do this job, and you talked with them. What's this about a good luck charm you received? Uh, I can't talk about it. Eh? If I do, it won't work anymore. That's what I was told. Yeah, but I really, really have to know. How tough is- only two. Right, time to do some psych unlocking. Maybe I can do it? Only one way to find out. The client. You seem to trust this client. Quite a lot, in fact. Uh. Because they gave you this stamp? No, no, that's not why. They listened to me, to my problem. The problem that keeps her inside all the time. Don't go outside if you don't want to. That's what they told me. But when I absolutely have to go out, all I had to do was use a good luck charm. A good luck charm. 
that your client gave you. Uh, I think I know what your client might have given you, actually. Is this your good luck charm? Is it the stamp? I mean... I don't have a lot to go on here. I mean, it's either the stamp or the pistol. I mean, I have enough evidence right now to pull this off. Maybe it's time to do a little bit more leg work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, so I don't waste all my energy this time, actually gonna play this a little bit cleverer. Cleverer, clever, cleverer. Yeah, I'm gonna play this a little bit smarter. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try out those pieces of evidence that I think, and if I get it wrong, I can always back out. If this doesn't bring good luck, I don't know what would. I see. Good luck charms are different for different people, I guess. Hmm? What do you mean? If you say it's lucky, then it must work for you. That's the beautiful thing about good luck charms. Well, that wasn't it. See that innocent smile? Everyone has a different way of breaking the news. That's the beautiful thing about being totally wrong. That's a great line. I'm glad I got to see that. It's not the stamp. I mean, she was talking about it, so I was thinking maybe it was the stamp. So it's either the stamp or the gun is what I said. I don't think it's any other thing. Yeah, I don't think it's any other thing. So therefore, we do not have the evidence just yet. Now the question though is, do we have the evidence to break Valent? Or do we need to go into the present to break Valent? Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's just to do it. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, just do it. And I don't need to save here, because I just saved. So if this doesn't work, I can easily just load from before. Trick up his sleeve. I, I kind of maybe have forgotten what the first one was. If you have proof this danger, show it. Is it the gun? Yes, it was the gun. And now it's uh, someone got hurt. And this shows who it was. That's not it. That is not it. Is it the locket? Oh, sneaky. So, in my opinion, they're the same person. But you're not supposed to really know that yet or put that together. So, showing them the commemorative stamp isn't the same thing. Because the commemorative stamp doesn't say this is Trucy's mother. This piece of evidence says it's Trucy's mother, so you had to show this piece of evidence. Because in the other evidence, the girl isn't named. But, but that's Zach Grimmery's wife and Trucy's mother. The Lassa, I believe, was her name. Ah! Alakazar! But, but how can you say this? How could you say she was struck by one of our bullets? Still in denial mode, eh? The last one was at the greatest risk of being shot, and this clue shows just how much danger she was in. I know. Oh, that worked! Troop Grammarie's performances were very, very popular. So popular, they even made a commemorative stamp at the height of your fame. 
We were not merely the last craze. We were an age, a golden age. It's all here on this stamp. There's the Lhasa, yes? Urk! Tusi's mother is missing, I hear. What happened to her? I I don't know! A part of his memory is still locked up. There is one thing you're failing to address. What's that? As you say, our troop was a world unto itself. Front leader, magnify, was so inclined, you could hide anything you wish with ease. But Mr. Wright, then he would have hid a crime, making him an accomplice. Not a great foundation for blackmail. Huh? Balance got a point. If one of the troop members died in an accident and Magnify covered it up, his innocence would come into question. Found the right address, Mr. Wright! I'm so close, there has to be something about how the Lass's death could affect Zack and Valet's relationship with Magnify. I see, in your eyes, you saw something to say. How can you possibly prove more than you already have? I'll prove why the Lass's accident tied your hands so completely. Uh, da, 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 with evidence. No better proof than evidence. Accidental death is Zack's wife tied both your hands. And this evidence proves why Magnify held so much power over you. Is it the diary or is it the pages? Tonight's idea is in. Maybe the last will be the rest of them. Russia comes soon, my journal may end here at Mega Wand. Depends on his hand. It's not this. I think it's the um it's the page that say we have something on you. It's a blackmail page. You cannot refuse, we both know the reason why. You cannot refuse, we both know the reason why. Uh so I need to choose the second one because this is power over you. Ha 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 ha! Will you, by any chance, try to threaten me? And no, of course not. You'll never make a good blackmail artist! Never! What did I do wrong there? Not a character choice I'd been considering, actually. Give up your dreams! Work an honest job! That's my advice! I better stop dreaming and get to work here fast. Magnify used the last of death as a means to control his disciples. How was that possible if he could be implicated in the cover-up? But I really had the evidence to prove this. It's gonna take a little knowledge of the players to crack this one. Accident and death is Zack's wife type both your hands. And this information proves why it held so much power over you. Choose a you don't choose her, right? That's not it. So what is the evidence I need? Do I have the evidence I need yet? Who was the Lassa really? Okay, so that was all different. Sorry, I didn't notice that. Who was the Lassa? Um, the Lassa. So basically, I need to prove that the Lassa was Lamorwar? Is that what I need to do? I, I think that's what I need to do. I just realized I could hold down circle to skip everything. Yeah, I didn't know that before. I, I can't back out though. It's not letting me back out. There it goes. Yeah, I never knew you could just hold out circle. All this time. Find something new out every day, I suppose. Unfortunately, now I'm gonna have to go back and redo the stuff I've already done with that, but that's fine. We can do that later. Uh, let's jump ahead to the present. The Borscht Bowl Club. It's been a while since we've been here. 
Present day Borscht Bowl Club. Kristoff? Didn't it just say present day though? Is it present day him in jail? Yeah, he's incarcerated, so why is he here? Hey, I'll be taking my leave now. Still has some work to do back at the office. Then I guess I'll go back to my piano. To be honest, it's better when you're on plane. This frigid culinary dungeon almost feels comfortable. Later, then. Ah, uh, two hours left on my shift. Wonder if we'll get any customers tonight. Wait, is this just before the first case? Ahem, do you know who I am? Shady Smith? Who I am? No, but if you hum it, I can play it. Just kidding. I know do request. Well, how about a different sort of request? You see, I play cards. Oh, a customer? I was just hoping someone would come in and see me from a night at the Keys. I seek a true competition. I have heard the Bush Ball Club is the pace for this. Now I see the rumor is true. And this is? A friend of- The reporter? What are you doing here? Ah, don't mind me! I'm just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! I mean, Newsman! Ha ha! Ah, he will not be playing tonight. When his business is finished, I will send him home. This competition will be between us, no others. How many people are connected to all these cases? Like, is this final case every single case combined? The right talented agents represents two artists. And I'm number two. I play piano. Well, sort of. It's actually just a front for my real talent. Which is playing poker. Don't ask me how I got started. I don't remember. But I'm good. Real good. It did take long for the rumors to get around. Go to the Borscht Bowl Club if you want a real game. That guy's never lost. People don't come to hear me tickle the ivory. They come to watch me play cards. Is this a seedy poker club? No, it's a restaurant. We don't play for high stakes. There's no money involved. But real players carry cash and they're always thirsty. It's a handy source of income for the club owner. Then let's complete. I'll take you to the room. The hideout, yes. But before we go... Yes? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Smith. Shady Smith. Oh, and I'm Bushel. Spark Bushel, the news reporter. End quote. Oh, uh, I'm... Now, now, Phoenix rides. Huh? You must always look like a man and I when you make your introductions. You still don't know who I am. Have we met? Ah! Whoa, 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 what? What? No! 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 You, you... You gotta be kidding me! Shady Smith is Zach Grammary? That's what I didn't see coming! Today in this courtroom, you cannot declare me guilty. What are you talking about? I am talking about this. But Mr. Enigma, the defendants escaped to find him quick. Maybe they've closed all exits in the building. 
No way! Only duel, you must not be allowed to escape. Totally didn't see that coming. I mean, I I I, I think I've spotted out Lamoror, but for some reason. I, I, I can't believe it! You, you, you can't be, but you're... Is that Grammary? Yes. The reincarnation act of the century. Pity I have only an audience of one. You. Is that Grammary? This must be a bad dream. In a sense, this guy ruined my life. You there. The da we will play soon. Freddy, the room. Da! I will be preparing the hideout for you! Are you really him? The Zach Grammary? Now, I am Shady Smith. Remember this. How many years has it been now? Six? And exactly three days from now, it will be seven. I caused you much inconvenience, I fear. Well, yeah? You could say that. Is she well? Trucy, I mean. She's fine. I've got her working already. Hope you don't mind. I need hardly express my gratitude, but you have it. This is why I have come. He's even wearing the same color like shirt. That, and to settle a matter of cards. By which you mean poker. Those eyes, he's serious. I despise losing above all else. And so, I had decided that I will win tonight, no matter what it takes. I know this guy's type, and they're dangerous. Everything's about the competition. All else is secondary. Perhaps we should take this time to talk before we play. But that's horrible! Then Trucy's dad is dead! Oh god, that sucks. I know you have much to ask me. And I, you. Oh my god, that was not a revelation I was expecting. I, I can't believe I never saw that. Man, maybe it's just because I forgot what he looked like. Like, even Lamoror, when I saw Lamoror... Um, in this picture, well not this picture, but the other picture, when I saw her in that other picture, I had to go back to like a previous video, and I'm like, I know I've seen her before, but I guess the thing is, it's reversed, because I saw Lamoror first, and then her second, but here I saw Shady Smith first, and him second, so I didn't put those pieces together, because I just dismissed Shady Smith as someone who died in the first case. That is clever, game. I must say, it comes as quite a surprise. I never knew you played. I'd do anything else if I could, believe me. Oh, there's something... Oh, yeah, there's something you could help me with. Do you think you could make the piano disappear? I'd help out in a big way, really. Wah, ha, 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 ha. You say the funniest things with the straightest face. People always tell me that, except I wasn't joking. This is grape juice. Is it refreshing? I usually drink too much, and it ends up making me thirsty. Oh, Mr. Wright. There is something inside that bottle. Huh? It's my business card. You weren't surprised at all. Perhaps you don't like magic. I sure felt surprised. Maybe I had my poker face on. So that's how the business card got there. But that was faked. Hmm. Makes me reevaluate that entire first case now. One of the restaurant tables, the one that's closest to the piano, which makes it the hardest to eat at, I hear. Our days when I'm playing, that is. What do you think about the ukulele? The sound is slight. The annoyance curtailed. 
a ukulele in a Russian restaurant? Then you must go to a Hawaiian restaurant. Hawaiian shirts don't go well with my complexion. Wah ha 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 I give up. And he's wearing that locket too. I mean, you can't tell me about something that happened in the future. We meet for the first time in seven years, and you offer me this, please. It wasn't a present. This guy's a hard sell. I won't get a rise on him unless I show him something real interesting. Yeah. Hey, how about that? How come no one ever told me about this circle button? Like, I feel dumb. I really do feel dumb. I mean, this is going by so much faster now. Maybe I knew, like, I did it before and then I just forgot. Just going through. I really doubt anything. Oh, nothing about Mr. Hat. I thought maybe you would say something about that. Oh, there we go. The person in this photo is Trissy's mother. Ha! How did you come by this? Trissy showed it to me. She said her mother was gone. Then it is so. Huh? She is gone. What more is there to say? Um, lots? Oh, I know, I know! Whoa, you're still here. Please stop, you're creeping me out. According to my in-depth research, Trissy's mother magnified Grammarie's only daughter, end quote. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Magnify's daughter? Is that true, Mr. Zack? Special, you say too much. Ah, ah, what? Why am I the bad guy? Why? Zack decked him. In any case, Mr. Wright, the discussion is over. The last. The lesser, Grammary. She's the most mysterious of the whole lot. I need to gather me some more evidence, clearly. Mr. Zack, could you tell me about this? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, talk. The meaning of competition. We competed that day seven years ago, too. Ah, yes. You must have been surprised. Call to the detention center after the blue. Two. One. Showdown time. I mean, was this the original picture of him? Because if so, how did I forget this? Like, how did I forget? I, 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 I think it's really just a matter of you just simply forgot that this guy existed. I mean, it was the first case. Uh, he died. And so you just push it out of your head. And my battery is low. Great. Just wonderful. Ah. Uh. Not only did I push this out of my brain, but it seems like I also pushed the uh, charge of my controller out of my brain, too. I, I lost. It's only a game of poker. A game I played for a long time and only lost twice. Who was the first? The man I killed, of course. The man I killed? The man I killed, you mean magnify? You choose your defense attorneys by playing poker. Some are hired, others fired. When you compete, you see a man's true nature. You know what I speak of. I know that you do. Trucy's power. Trucy, she is in a class of her own. For seven years, I played poker here at the Borscht Bowl Club. And I've never lost once. I'm good, but not that good. I win because whenever there's a big game, I bring in Trucy. And she sends me signals. Daddy, he's got a good hand. He might have a chance if he act quick. 
Better call him soon. Can you tell me what her power is? Judging a person's thoughts by reading their reactions is a staple of performance magic. But those of Trusa's line possess far greater skill. Her line? Recall that you are the second man to whom I've lost. Magnify Grammary. That was the first time I learned of this power, as you call it. Wait, so you're saying her power is genetic? It's just in the Grammary blood or something? Blood. Cyclox! A lot of Cyclox. I am sorry, but is that something told lightly to outsiders? And there's nothing you need to know at this time. Some kind of Grammary secret then. Fine. I'll go back to that. About Trusa. She's 15 this year. She's still trying her best to follow in your footsteps, you know. I see. When I planned my disappearing act, it was the thought of her alone that gave me pause. Wait, you were planning on vanishing from the get-go? Yes, and for that, I must apologize. However, I could not be found guilty that day. Because of this. This? A transfer of rights. You see the signature. A transfer? That's magnified Grammarie's signature, isn't it? I hereby give all rights to the secret stage and performance of my magic to the recipient and below the recipient, Zach Grammarie. So, Magnify chose Zack over Valent. Is this a real paper, though? Like, is this a forger? Is this the real thing? I hereby give all rights to secret staging and performance of my magic to the recipient named below. And the recipient's name is you, Zack Grammary. Yes, it is I. Wait, this page looks torn. You recall the diary, yes? First, take a close look at this diary. Note that a page has clearly been ripped off. As it just so happens, I have here what I believe to be the missing page. Wait, let me see that. How could I forget? That scrap of paper lost me my attorney's badge. This is the real page that was torn from the book. Magnify gave it to me that night. You could have told me this earlier, like seven years earlier? Once again, I must apologize. It was all I could do to prepare for my escape from the courtroom. Chancel writes. The greatest of Magnify Grimmery's illusions are to art. As such, they are well protected by this document. Only its bearer may perform his illusions on stage. Sounds like a pretty important thing to have if you're his disciple. As a rightful heir to his art, I too wanted a rightful heir. Rightful? I'm sure you know who I chose as my successor. Your daughter? Yeah, your daughter. That is why I have us all to come here tonight. Bushel! Sure! Ah, here you go! What's this? A letter passing the rights I have inherited to Tusi. Oh, that's what's in that letter. I would have you sent here as a witness. But, but, I'm not a lawyer anymore. And you need a public notary besides. Ah, I may not look at, but I'm a certified toll, I mean notary. You are? By day, I wear notary's glasses and hunt for news. Also, by day, I wear reporter's glasses and I notarize. When I take off the glasses, I can't see very well. <laughs> Your signature, please. This is the first reason I have come here tonight. Transfer rights added to the court record. Ah, I finally figured it out. Now I know why you've come out of hiding only now. It's been seven years, you said? Precisely. Because after seven years, all the rights go to, uh... 
to um uh, Valent. There's a law that covers your situation. After seven years, missing persons are considered to be legally deceased. So if someone was to vanish on the face of the earth seven years ago, they will lose all rights as a living person after seven years from that day. Not to mention all of their possessions. Exactly, which is why I'm here. I wish showing my face in public for the sake of this document. Before my seven years are up, you might say I am securing my daughter's inheritance. But do you really need this document? Wouldn't Trucy inherit your estate automatically? Not in this case, I'm afraid. This case? Yes, I received the performance rights from Magnify Grimmery. However, this was studied secret without witnesses. Before Magnify died, two potential successors to his repertoire were named. Myself, Zach Grimmery, and Valet Grimmery. Not to see. I see. So you do need this document. I have known Bachel since before I vanished. He is a man that I trust. Now, only three know of my rebirth. I took the liberty of looking into Trucy's background and found he had no other close kin. It is, as you say. Huh. Hmm. Okay. I was kind of hoping he'd say something about the mother at this point. I know everyone else, but Trucy's mother is a mystery. Well, the prelude may have been longer than the main attraction. Shall we begin our game? My final competition. Final? Why? As you said, I have come out of hiding to make this document legally binding. Once that is done, I shall sit once more underground. Without seeing your daughter? Huh. It would be best if I did not. Seven years ago, we played. Seven years ago, I lost. I already lost to magnify. I do not care to lose to another. And I have heard that you never lose. It's just a rumor. Yes, for it is impossible to never lose unless one has an ace of one sleeve. Huh. As a magician, it causes me no end of irritation. To think a mere lawyer might be out there pulling the wool over so many eyes. Hey, I just signed your document for you. Maybe you could try, uh, lightening up? That was that. This is this. For my final competition, I will destroy your perfect record, Phoenix Wright. This will be my final performance. You are warned. This guy is beyond serious. So much for a fun evening of cards. Rochelle, you may leave. Ah, what a slush game. I mean, what a scoop. <sighs> I punch and I punch, but still, it's not enough. Uh, I just remembered a future or uh, a prior engagement. Turtles, gentlemen. Oh, and nice meeting you, piano man. Then let us begin. Dealer. Da. You will be a witness to our competition. Da. It is honor for me. Huh? Why haven't I seen her around here before? Ah, that reminds me. I saw a familiar face as I entered this restaurant. He did not seem to notice me, however. Huh? Gavin, I believe was his name. You know him? After a fashion, listen, Phoenix Wright. One can learn much from a true competition. Remember this. The grammary power. I was close to understanding it, but I needed more. And I knew where to get it. Trucy's mother. I need to meet that reporter again. That was clear. And one other thing. From the moment my final competition with Zack began that night, a name was running through my head. The name of a man now in prison. A name Zach Grimmery knew. But how? And why? Solitary Cell 13. Oh, look at that place. 
I wanted to go back here though, and I do want to test that lock. I don't think I can probably open it, but I want to test it. Like, I'm pretty sure we need to know who the mom is first. The grammar is secret. I have to know more about this power of Trucy's. It's like she could see right into people's minds. The first time I saw her do it, it blew mine. And after you were done, how many am I blown? You took her to play cards with you. Er, uh, gotta use the resources at hand, I always say. Yet, I myself have no such power. But Trucy does. Why is that? Hmm. Maybe Trucy got her power from her mother? The Lhasa, Grammary? I will not speak of that! The Lhasa is officially missing, correct? And I think I know why you don't want to talk about her. There's a couple things I could use here. Well, Mr. Zack? Let me be frank. It is true I did not wish to talk of her, and now there is another I could care less about. You. Ah, well that was mean. Take care, you did not end up missing yourself. Okay, well I still have... It's extra scary magicians don't end me. Hold on, hold on, I still have... The three of you were a team once. Yes, okay. Not that the entire country doesn't already know this. At your peak, you were the biggest stars around. Yet, there's another story behind the fame. One that not many know. The Lassa lost her life during a rehearsal. To you and Valent Grammarie's bullets. It was an accident. It, it wasn't me. How could I shoot my dear at the Lassa? I'm sure Valent would say the same thing. Why, it's just like another murder I might mention. Dang you! Her eyes. I love the lass's eyes. To think they could read my mind was frightening. Yet there was a warmth in them that felt like an embrace. She is dead and Magnified Grimmery has joined her. So the only one with her power left now is Trucy? Huh. Mr. Zack, I do not know. I don't need any power to see through that one, buddy. So there's someone else, someone other than Trucy. Someone inherited the lass's power. Ha! Ha! How would I know? My chances are slim. I would take a miracle to learn the truth. Or maybe one has already occurred. There is someone else with the power, and I know who. Is it? This, this, this boy, his name is, I forget, something weird. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Who could he be? That's a good question, Mega Man. An attorney. A attorney. I noticed him when I went to visit a friend's law office. Heh. <laughs> so, what are we to make of this? Oh, great ex-attorney. Huh. You can show me pictures of strange boys all you like. But you could at least say something like, I'm this boy, I could use a laugh. Perhaps you wouldn't laugh if you knew the facts. Heh. <laughs> this might not be 100% proof, but it's close. There's a link between this boy and the last... Actually, it's more of a ring. A ring. Perhaps this will refresh your memory. I just don't have enough evidence showing this missing link. I don't have it. I need the bracelet. Uh, I need the bracelet. I don't have the bracelet. Yeah, I think I need the bracelet. Is Trucy and Apollo brother and sister? There's so many questions here. Um, I don't have the evidence. I need a bracelet. 
or or something. All right, my friends. Well, my name is the Flightless Bird. This is your Story Base Gaming Channel, and oh my God, there's just so much going on right now, and there's so much revelations here, and just good lord, there's just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.